Hello and welcome to Manuvalu with me, Andre Rees Sheeran. You may know me as a broadcaster or you may know me as a singer. You may even know me as a writer because I do a bit of writing as well. A short little video using a pencil to make it analogous with being a human being. And here are some of my thoughts. Pencils and humans have a look at this photograph and see the hand holding it. Just like pencils, human beings have unique qualities that make us special. Let's explore some of those qualities. The core of the pencil represents resilience, just as human beings are able to overcome challenges and to bounce back in difficult situations. The outer shell, protection. Here you can see a sharpened pencil with its outer shell. This outer protective shell of the pencil defends the fragile core, just as humans have defensive barriers to shield ourselves from harm. The eraser at the end of the pencil represents adaptability, just as humans have the ability to learn, to grow and to change over time. Putting it all together, just like a pencil, human beings have different parts that work together to create something unique, something valuable. Whether it's resilience, protection or adaptability, these qualities make us who we are. Therefore, pencils and humans are more alike than you might think. We can even link this to Freud. And here's how the analogy between pencils and human beings could be linked to his theory of personality. According to Freud's psychoanalytic theory of personality, the human psyche is divided into three constituent parts, the id, the ego and the superego. Using the pencil analogy, we could say that the pencil's core represents the id which is the unconscious and instinctual part of the psyche. The id is like the pencil's lead core, which is the essential component that drives the pencil's function. The outer shell of the pencil, which protects the core, could represent the ego, which is the conscious part of the psyche that mediates between the id and the external world. The ego is like the pencil's outer shell, which protects the core and allows the pencil to interact with the external environment. And finally, the eraser at the end of the pencil could represent the superego, which is the moral and ethical part of our psyche. The superego is like the pencil's eraser, which can be used to correct and refine the marks made by the pencil. Overall, the analogy between the pencil and the human could be used to illustrate Freud's theory of personality, showing how the different constituent parts of the psyche work together to create a unique and complex whole. And so in conclusion, pencils and human beings are more commonly like one another than one might think. And so the next time you use a pencil, think about what it represents, the resilience, the protection and the adaptability that make us human. Hang loose, stay tight. Big love as always. I'll see you on the other side.